Like, people really don't understand that, like, graffiti has happened for a really long time. You go back even to the pyramids. When the Romans invaded, they would scratch their names into the sides of the pyramid and stuff like that. So, you know, if people understand that this is, like, some sort of instinct to write on something... Yeah, I really don't know what to say about this one except for Wiz is pretty much did like this side. He did all this stuff here and then like I did like that bird and like the waterfall that way. The waterfall, I guess it probably took the longest, but yeah, I did it first. So I don't know, the web took, it took me like a whole fucking day to do the web. That's funny cause like, that's the first time I had done really like dew droplets on things. I didn't really know how to do them. And then I went over to there's a tattoo shop behind us and they have like a coke machine. So I just sort of like copied the dew droplets off of the coke machine. Uh, this is a character that I'm not even really done. I don't even remember when I did it really, but it's still in progress. I kind of want to like make a body on him and everything. I don't really want to say much in front of Wiz's piece. It's a uh, beautiful piece though, and it's also on a really busy intersection. 13th Avenue and, and Albert Street. I got commissioned to do this one and he wanted it's kind of like an Asian theme, so I threw down, I got the Buddha in there, I wrote Via Thai down on my own little lettering. I was pretty cool that he was down with that. And then instead of just doing like a blank sky, I threw in that like, the digital kind of look, you know? Yeah. With the squares and shit. And he was happy. I showed him the sketch. It wasn't colorful at all when I showed him the sketch, it was just black and white. Yeah, people seem to like it. There's some things I would change on it, you know? Like, I still gotta come back and fetch a little few, few small things up, but other than that, if they're happy, you know, I'm happy. I like doing it on the, the bigger level where more people are seeing us because it's slowly making people understand what graffiti can be. More so at the beginning, it was all about going out and asking people if I could paint their stuff. And then now, I'm getting more people coming towards me, which which is a good thing. How do people find out about you? But what I do, um, mostly it's like word of mouth. Just word of mouth. Yeah. At first, yeah. I really believe it's all word of mouth. Yeah, word of mouth, pretty much. Someone will see our work on whatever place, and then they'll just be like, "Hey, you know, who did that?" And then they'll go into the business, ask the business, you know, where did you get this? They give our contacts, and then boom, we get it. They wanted something to keep the vandalism from going down. A bunch of garbage, you know? Like, I was just getting painted every day, and then you gotta go back, and then repaint it, or get somebody to come pressure wash the wall and shit. It's just costing a lot of money, so. And we became on good terms and stuff, and he, like, told me whenever I want to go paint, go back there as long as it's tasteful, so. Yeah, it's good. Basically, we just did whatever we wanted on this, on this wall, which turned out good, and now a lot of it has gone over. Like, we don't live too far away, so we just come through and, uh, you know, it's kind of our wall to, to do pieces on. There's a new one by Wiz. This is this old scrapbook I had from uh, World's Guinness thing, but I kept all this shit when I was little. This is like the first time I met Truth. I did this Wiz piece back when they had the Prairie Roots project downtown. <laughs> That's pretty much a bit of a bad. What else I got? Yeah, these are just ideas and shit, you know, but eventually, these characters turn into stuff that I've been painting on the walls. I just roll around with like... After, uh, 